given question find the applied force p to cause the motion of 500 newton block to the right side coefficient of friction between other contact surfaces is 0.21 In this question, we have to find out the value of P, which is inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal, to cause the motion of 500 newton block towards the right hand side. 500 newton block and 750 newton block are connected with the help of string. So the tension in the string is created. We will assume the pulley is smooth through which the string is connected to these two blocks. Now, if we observe the given condition, then we have to find out the value of P in such a way that 500 newton block will move towards the right hand side. So, I will show the motion of 500 newton block. Now, this block is connected to 750 newton. So, the motion of the 750 newton block is in the upward direction on this inclined plane. so we will show the motion of the 750 newton block so this is the motion that is in the upward direction for the 750 newton block and the motion of 500 newton block is towards the right hand side now the tension is created in the string so the tension we have to show always in the outward direction from the block so we will show for 500 newton block If this is the outward direction, and for 750 newton block also we have to show the outward direction. Now this is the same string which is connected through pulley, so its a magnitude is same, but the direction is opposite. So we have to show here the tension T. Now we will draw the free body diagram for the two blocks. So first we will consider 750 newton block. So we know that the 750 newton block, that is weight, always acts in vertically downward direction, passing through center of the block. So we will show here. Now we have to show this block 750 newton with same inclination to draw the free body diagram. Now this is the weight 750 newton. Now motion of the block is the parallel to this inclined line and in the upward direction so frictional force is created and which is in the opposite direction of the motion so we have to show so it is parallel to the inclined line so this base is also parallel to the inclined line so we will show here this frictional force f1 so we will give here the suffix as a 1 then the surface of the block is in contact with the fixed inclined surface so there is the normal reaction and this reaction is always perpendicular to the fixed surface and direction is towards the block and this normal reaction also passing through the center of block so we will draw here one perpendicular line to the inclined surface and we will show here normal reaction in then there is the tension created in the string so this string is parallel to the inclined surface so we have to show that now if we observe this diagram then all the forces are parallel and perpendicular to the inclined plane except this weight so weight acts in vertically downward direction so we will resolve this weight into two component one component is parallel to the inclined plane so this is the line parallel to the inclined plane so i will draw here this component and one component perpendicular to the inclined plane so this n1 is perpendicular to the inclined plane so we will take parallel line and we will show here now how to decide the value of these components now if we observe here this inclined surface making an angle of 60 degree with horizontal line now for this horizontal line this vertical line is perpendicular line and for this inclined line this component is perpendicular line so these two perpendicular line 
making at the same angle at the point of contact so these two lines are perpendicular to these two lines and which is making 60 degree angle so these two lines also at the point of intersection make the same angle that is 60 degree now it is easy to decide the value of this component so this component is nearby to angle 60 degree so we will say that 750 cos of 60 so this component is 750 cos 60 and here this is 750 sin 60 now we will move to the free body diagram for this 500 newton block now here the applied force is P so we have to show and it is inclined at 30 degrees so we will show as it is this is P then there is tension T in the opposite direction so we have to show here the tension T then weight so weight always acts in vertically downward direction passing through the center so this is the weight which is 500 Newton then motion of the block is towards the right hand side so we have to show frictional force in the opposite direction now in this case we will use here the suffix 2 so frictional force f2 then there is normal reaction which is perpendicular to the base that is to the horizontal line that means vertical and it is also passing through the center of the block and here is n2 so this is the free body diagram. Now if we observe all the forces are uh, in vertical direction or in horizontal direction except this P. So we will resolve this P into two components. One is horizontal and other is vertical. So here is the horizontal component and here the angle is 30 degree. So this component we can say P cos of 30. And this component we will say P sin of 30. Now it is easy to find out the value of T if we observe here this T in these two blocks for these two blocks the value of T is same so we will first solve this 750 Newton block we will find out the value of T and then we, then we will use this value of T in this 500 Newton block and we will solve the or we can calculate the value of P. Now if we will consider 750 Newton block then the summation of forces normal to plane is equal to 0. So we have to just refer this diagram. Now if we observe normal forces that means perpendicular forces here N1 and 750 cos 60 both are in opposite direction. So we can directly write N1 is equal to 750 cos of 60 and which is equal to 375 Newton. Then the second is summation of forces parallel to plane is equal to zero now we have to just observe this so if we observe this f1 then t and 750 sin 60 these are the three forces so for t if we consider positive sign then for the opposite direction forces we have to consider negative sign so we can write here t minus f1 minus 750 sin 60 is equal to zero now what is the value of f1 so we don't know so there is one frictional law there is relation in between f1 and n1 so f1 by n1 is equal to mu and value of mu that is coefficient of friction is mentioned in the question it is 0 0.21 so we will write f1 is equal to 0 0.21 into n1 and n1 is 375 so f1 is 75 newton so value of t is equal to 724.52 newton we will consider the equilibrium of 500 Newton forces. So summation of all vertical components is equal to 0. Now if we observe the diagram then which are the vertical components of forces then here is N2, here is 500 and here is P sin 30. So if we observe the direction then this N2 and P sin 30 is having same direction so we will use positive sign. And for this 500 we will use negative sign. So N2 minus 500 plus P sine 30 is equal to 0. Therefore N2 is equal to 500 minus 0.5P. Now this value of N2 we have to use for letter. Then we will consider the summation of all horizontal forces is equal to 0. Now for this diagram F2 then this tension T and P cos 30 are the forces which are in horizontal direction so we will write here f2 plus t 
minus p cos 30 is equal to 0. Now what is the value of f2? So there is one relation in between f2 and n2 that, if, that is according to law of friction f2 by n2 is equal to mu. So it is 0 0.21 and n2 is we have to write this term in bracket 500 minus 0 0.5. Now we will multiply with this term with 0 0.21 and there is 100 minus 0 0.1p. Now this value of f2 we have to use in this formula. Then t is also known that we have calculated value of f2 is in terms of p and here p, p cos 30 that means we have to find out p. So if we observe the equation is in terms of p and then we can easily find out the value of p. So P cos 30 is equal to 100 minus 0 0.1 P plus 724.5. So we will take the P terms on one side and all the other terms to the other side. So if I transfer minus 0 0.1 P to the left hand side then it will become plus and we will take P as a common term. So P in the bracket cos 30 plus 0 0.1 is equal to 824.5. So P is equal to 853.5 newton.